uh, the purpose of the foreign policy in Africa was to uh, reduce the, the population. So to give aid to countries in Africa, not uh, clean water and schooling and things like that, but uh, contraception and abortion. In order to re- shrink the population of Africa because they have great mineral resources there. That sounds diabolical. It I mean, is. I, I, yes. That sounds like something conceived in the mind of Margaret Sanger. Yeah, definitely. And so the, uh, at the time, Kissinger and those involved with the Carter administration wanted to shrink the population, make sure that the Africans do not develop and do not use the resources for themselves because we in the States, we need them. There is a, a concerted effort of foreign powers to uh, control the population of Africa. Africa is a huge continent, could, mm. could feed thousands of more people, but the uh, policies of the West, especially in, in Europe. For example, between 1990 and the year 2000, the United States, Canada, and Europe contributed about $6 billion in contraceptives, not to help the people, not to give clean water, clean food, uh, that is, uh, not, not to fight malaria, for example. No, of course, to perish the thought, never. Yeah. Let them die. That's the whole idea. So in our work in HLI, we denounce this reality to make the Africans aware that they have to defend themselves against the, the influence of foreign powers. Is it, is it just the United States, or do you believe that China is also playing a role um, in, in jockeying for the resources of Africa? China is playing a major role because China is buying property in Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, in Mozambique, which is a Portuguese-speaking uh, language country, they, uh, when Portugal was in charge of Mozambique, they used to export rice. Now they are importing rice from China mm. because they cannot produce. The, the socialism has wrecked the, the production of, of rice. And the Chinese come and buy farms. So about 